Thanks so much for being here with us. The chance of rain did not stop thousands of folks from turning out for the uh, Boots in the Park Country Music Festival. Yeah, it turns out the weather held up, uh, just like this newscast, hopefully. A lot of folks <laughs> having a good time at Waterfront Park, and that's where you find Alani Latang. Alani, save us, please. <laughs> I'll come save you guys here with Tim Tim McGraw. He just hit the stage not 30 minutes ago. Not only can you hear it, but you can feel it. Now we're on the other side of Waterfront Park, but look, look at all these fans here just lining up to watch them. They brought the dogs out. You brought the kids out. You even have people on their boats watching Tim McGraw here. And again, we're on the other side of Waterfront Park. And a lot of people, look, just enjoying what they have to offer here with boots on the ground. I'm going to show you. Look at that stage over there, though. You have people just sort of peering on the side here along the Embarcadero just looking for a great show and people came out here almost more than 17,000 people are here and they came no matter what the weather played out to be. Sunny weather, country music, beer, can't get better than that. that that's a mix for a good time. <laughs> My wife bought the tickets. I don't do anything. I just, I make the money, she spends it, and this is where I am today. Boots in the park stomping out on a dry note after concerns of rain from Tropical Storm K. We had our ponchos, we were ready. We are prepared for it. Rain or shine, baby. <laughs> rain or shine. I think the best part is seeing the people come out. You know, they're having a good time. They're enjoying themselves, the bigger the acts that come on, like the more excited they get. Boots in the Park is twice a year, this time around featuring artists like Jameson Rogers, Dustin Lynch, Chris Lane, but there's an act that most people are excited for. Tim McGraw, honestly, he's one of my favorite artists. He's a great guy. Tim McGraw, of course. <laughs> and most of the next days, looking at the x-rays. Tim McGraw, hottie, hottie. Some people also come to see other people. I like people watching. You got, you got a lot of different spectrum of people. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about coming here. After COVID and everything, like these things kind of got shut down. So being back, being in person has been wonderful. Obviously, seeing everybody's beautiful face. The Country Music Festival grows each year with bigger artists, bringing in more than 17,000 people to Waterfront Park. You know, this is a beautiful venue for an outdoor concert. I think what they have going here is blows Coachella away. And Tim McGraw is going song after song here. Crowd still bumping. You can feel that. Now we're told that after parties at Moonshine Flats, so that's probably where everyone is going to be headed there. So expect some, some sort of traffic here when you're coming down. But be safe. Have a great time. Looks like he just finished up a set there, and we'll go to his next one. But I'll send things back to you, Jason and Misha. Moonshine Flats, we'll see you there, Alani. Thanks.